promises of God and to win over circumstances in life. Reboot your thinking. Position yourself, in other words, to receive all that God has in store for you. 1, Timothy, 1 Corinthians 2.16 says that you have the mind of Christ and you can put it to work and appropriate it with faith so that you come out winning. You have positive results. Amen. It might take you humbling yourself. I think of Corey Ten Boone. You know, we're talking about love, and you got to humble yourself sometimes to walk in love. And, uh, you know, I have people come to, come to me after the services sometime and say, well, you forgot about this, Pastor. Put this, uh, this would go in there, and, you, you know, don't forget this. And, and, and I said, well, thank you very much for, you know, re- reminding me of that. I'll, I'll try to maybe to stick that in my next message. Or you left this out, Pastor. Or so, you know, so, hey, just love on people. And don't worry about it. Amen. Because they, they probably, some of them are going to tell me some things that I need to hear, right? <laughs> Make me have a better message. But where was I going with that? Oh, okay. Corey Ten Boom. This lady was in a German prison camp. And uh, the Germans were terrible to her, to her and her sister. By the way, she was a lady from Holland. And they had hidden Jewish people in their home. And so they were arrested. She and her sister went to prison camp. Her sister ultimately died in that prison camp. But Corey Ten Boom used to do this. The, the guards, Nazi guards would interrogate her. And at the end of it, she'd say, is it okay if I pray for you? And it would drive them nuts. Can, may I pray for you? Is that all right? But you see, just like Job, when did God turn his captivity? When he prayed for his friends. Well, we're talking about praying for your enemies, which it talks about in Matthew chapter 5. So what happened? Corey Ten Boom, all of a sudden they called on her and said, there's some clerical thing here, and, and we're releasing you from jail. It turned out later it was a clerical error, and they released her from that German prison camp. And she went all around the world telling people what Jesus had done for her. Praying for your enemies. Wow, that's a heavy. But that's what we got to do. Do what the Bible says. Amen? And so, what's that doing? James 2.8. You're living by the royal law. You're refusing to step out of the, the will of God, which is the love of God. Right? You say, what should I do in this particular situation? Love. Respond in love. Oh, I'm not going to violate. I'm, I'm going to stay in that love realm. If I get out of it, it I'm going to short-circuit the power of God. So, anyhow. This is, the way I, this is the way champions think. And so, I mentioned some of those guys. That were, their lives were transformed. And, but all of them have this quality about them. They love the brethren. We know that they pass from death unto life because they love the brethren. And I can think of Sam DeJoy and, and uh, Jimmy Allison and Mark Barkley and all these guys. But they all, and myself included, had to undergo a transformation in my thinking, in our thinking. Change your minds and begin to think like a champion. Hallelujah. Well, uh, I'm not done, but I'm out of time. So you can keep those papers and we'll ch- try to pick up on some more of it. I like that first one, too. Don't forget, we must have the presence routinely for refreshing and strength. We need God's presence just to run to that presence. And, wow, I think that's what got Paul through. You know, I think he, think of what he went through with Roman imposition and storms and snake bites and beaten ahead and left for dead and shipwrecked and imprisoned. Yet Paul was able to say, thanks be to God. 2 Corinthians 2.14, thanks be to God who always causes me to triumph in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's stand tonight. Thank you, Father. Always, not once in a while, not sporadically or periodically, (laughs) but always 
causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Wow. What an inspiration. How many want to think like a champion? No longer like a loser, but a champion. I thought like a loser at one time, but more and more I'm thinking like a champion. Jesus is the champion of our salvation. I told this young man today, I says, Jesus is a master at making champions out of failures. Glory to God. He can do it. So let's get hungry for the word of God like that baby. Amen. Fill our hearts with his word. Amen. Father, thank you tonight for your goodness. Help us, Lord, to think like a champion. Have a new attitude, Lord, a new mental attitude, a new perspective, a new paradigm, Father, that we don't think in terms of, oh, man, I'm probably going to fail at this or I'm going to fail at that. No, you've designed us to win, be victorious, and always cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Thank you for doing it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Good seeing you tonight. Have a great evening. Wasn't that worship good? I love that worship. Glory to God. That was great.